And a final note on Delahoya Hernandez. Richard Steele tells us that Hernandez's words were, I've had enough, my face is all busted up, I don't want any more. Hard right hand over the top by James Tony. Ernest Mateen going backward in the first round. A career which has seen him go backward in the last couple of years. Crowd gets the picture and begins to respond in the appropriate fashion. Mateen's most effective blow, a rabbit punch in the clinch. You know what? The referees are going to have to be a little more responsible for these behind the head punches. You're going to have to, if it takes disqualifying a few guys for it, that's the only way. Ernest Mateen brings a lot of emotion into this. He says Tony hurt his feelings. Get online, kid. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> God, this is ugly already. Well, Tony, in the middle weights, he was able to do this with the smaller guys and eventually wear them out and get on with a good jab. But in this big, light heavyweight division, these guys can lay on you all night. James Tony trying to stick to his business against an awkward and apparently overmatched Ernest Mateen as they come to the end of round one. Second rabbit punch. Come on. It's his best weapon. Hey, uh, you talk to him now. All right, Diggy, this is how we got to do this here. Mm -hmm. Pump a few of them strong, tough jabs. Boom, boom. You see he's going down all the time. Bring him underneath. Everything underneath. Put your chin down. Do the wild swinger. Chin down. Dip. Bend your legs underneath. That's all you got to do. Ain't no problem, but I need the jab. That's gonna set him up. All right, keep Wait, that one. jab going. That's all right. We'll show him that he ain't there. Let's pump the jab. Do what we want to do with it. I gotta have the jab. Stop walking around. No. You can do this thing. Believe in this. Believe me, you can do it. You gotta get your jab. Jab straight right hand. Out of there. Jab straight right hand. Out of there. Tony is trying to deliver those shots that his corner told him to do, but he's too far away. He's first got to get a little closer. Takes uh, inch by inch as the round going, get a little closer. How's he going to move when his shorts go farther down, George? I think the ref should help him out. He's going to have limited mobility here in a moment. I haven't seen this since Roger Mayweather against Pernell Whitaker in Norfolk, Virginia back in 1986. I there think, you go. I think the first thing he's got to do is get a new haberdasher. <laughs> well, he's got a new manager, a new trainer. <laughs> Stiff uppercut in there by Tony as Mateen leans in against him again. <laughs> Good right hand. Looked like he's been waiting all night to deliver that right hand on Tony, and it hurt. Tony looked at him as if to say, I thought you were a sparring partner. The team got everything behind that roundhouse right. He's giving new meaning, however, to the term lean machine. He's just leaning on it. <laughs> And a lot of rabbit punches. The referee should really be in a position to, to disqualify this guy if he keeps hitting Tony behind the head. Yeah. 
I know this is the only way that you you cannot condition your body to take those shots. Right now, Mills Lane is thinking, why couldn't they have given me butter beans fight? Come on, give me time. Come up here. Look. I'm not gonna tell you again. When I tell you to stop punching, you stop punching, okay? So listen, let's go. Time on, come on. He's got to show him something. You can't tell him he take points instantly. Hand right goes like a sweeping, like a broom, and he's catching Tony. Tony landed the counter left inside. Mateen goes down to his knee. He was getting ready to try to throw a punch, but if you go down to your knee to throw one, you're knocked down. I think there was a punch about 30 seconds ago that hurt him, and he just decided to go down now um, and avoid the rush. A very weird. A very weird knockdown, I must say. I've seen delayed knockdowns, but not, not any that long. One point off here. One point off here. Now let's go. Come on. Now. Lane he's taking a make point it. away from Mateen, and George Foreman rises with a standing ovation. Yeah, because you got to warn these guys. You hit behind the head constantly over and over. You're going to damage this guy permanently. He landed one of those right hands while holding on to Tony. Listen, it all starts with a jam. It all, starts, it all starts with a jam. All right? Let's take a look at that so-called knockdown and see if what preceded it. That didn't land. Nothing landed. If that's a knockdown, I'm Shannon Faulkner. I think he got him a little bit with that right hand. That, that left hook on top hurt him, and he hit him a, a little with that right hand, too. And there was a stiff breeze <laughs> blowing from one side of the ring to right. the other. Oh, the same breeze that bothered Look at me. Ask your De La Hoya's back. You're not paying attention. It's stiff in his back. You're trying to load up with everything. Hand speed. Turn him over. You're waiting to throw your jab. Come on, baby. You can do this, sir. Let's go. So how much time it is. Ernest Mateen has two and a half years at the John Jay <laughs> School in New York, a school for law enforcement. I think he's got to pursue that career because he isn't a fighter. Not at this level, certainly. But he's landing some right hands as he flails away in there. And there's a straight left on Tony. And there's a danger here for James to get careless against a guy who appears overmatched. You're right. The guy's not putting anything into his shots. He's in reserve at all times. So he's always got one heavy shot laid and waiting back there. There's a little head movement from Tony. That'll help. You see, it was a sheriff who, who decided there wouldn't be any rabbit punching. The mark is a queen bear. So here's a sheriff doing rabbit punching. All right, let's quit punching. The only danger for James Tony would be if he got jealous of Butterbean and tried to become as big as he is. That may not take so powerful a force as jealousy, Larry. That may be just about three good buffets away. Yeah, another rabbit punch. You're right, George. Another rabbit punch. I'm telling you, the referee, if this guy continues, this should disqualify him. I'd rather hear the crowd boo. And one of these guys end up in a hospital. A lot of people think that Mills Lane is one of the two or three best, if not the best, referees in the sport, George. You look at that hit behind the neck. This is the way we get brain damage in boxing. I'm not sure what Lane can do short of disqualifying the guy. Disqualify him. He is holding and hitting behind the head. And I'm telling you, there's no way for a fighter to protect himself from that kind of stuff. You can't even train your body for it. Tony leans back and watches that right hand come over the top while Mateen wraps his left arm around him. There's, There's another a rabbit punch again. 
See, what he's going to do is force James Turner to start doing the same thing. Hard right hand by Mateen, and another one. In this round, Mateen has landed about five of those haymakers. Wouldn't have been, look at the rabbit punching. This could never have happened if he not, hadn't had the weakness of the rabbit punching. Some water. Listen to me. Every time you move your hands, you hit him. Some air. Every time, look at me. Every time you move your hands, you hit him. What are you waiting for? You know what I'm Okay, Ernie, you throw a jab and you fall inside. You can't shoot a straight right hand that way, can you? No. You're throwing beautiful shots and you're standing.